right, so I'm going to make uh, my half cooked, half raw vegetarian chili. If you want to make a version with meat, go ahead, but I definitely recommend all, even if you're still a meat eater, to try this because you won't believe how flavorful it is. It doesn't need meat. So it's half cooked, half raw. Again, the idea is to get all the benefits uh, from cooking, mostly the stewing flavors and, and beans, of course, have to be cooked. Uh, some of the vegetables will have to be cooked. Um, they don't really work raw. However, and then simmered in, in, in you know, sauce and the spices. So you get that part of the chili experience. But then at the last minute, we're going to add in tons of raw vegetables. So first, Yeah, I know. So first, we have, I just took a tomato paste and added water and then I added some dried spices. We'll add some fresh herbs at the very end. But I added uh, some dried oregano and basil and some uh, sunflower oil. Oil's good in it just to help the flavors uh, and you congeal and, and run through the oil with tomato paste and water. So I've got that heated up and now I'm going to add some chili powder. And put that in there, some chili powder. And then next, we have a six bean mix, including chickpeas. I'm going to simmer that in there. And then I made a bowl of all the vegetables that I felt help the flavor for the actual sauce and that really don't work raw. So, what we have is mushrooms, um, organic, uh, it's all organic. We've got portobello mushrooms. I put in a red hot chili pepper. Um, I put in some diced, some chopped garlic so that the garlic so some sliced garlic so that that garlic flavor gets in with the beans and the sauce. But I also put lots of whole garlic, I call them garlic bombs, so that when they simmer in the sauce you get some nice full garlic, they, they hold the garlic flavor. So lots of garlic in this, and lots of onion, and I put, I had some baby carrots, so because you know, they they, they don't, wouldn't work uh, raw so much in this texture wise, so I'm putting them in so they simmer and soften up. And so that's pretty much uh, the vegetables, carrots, uh, both chopped and full garlic bombs. Uh, a chopped chili pepper for a little bit of heat, just enough to put a little heat in it. And onion and the mushrooms. So we're going to simmer that. And then uh, once I feel it doesn't necessarily need tons of cooking, it's really just leave it up to your own judgment. It's more just to soften the carrots a little bit. And other than that, it's just to get the flavors all kind of congealing and marinating and kind of dancing together and once that's simmered to your liking you can taste it then the, all the rest of the ingredients will add at the very last minute and will not be cooked so let's let it simmer all right so i simmered it for about an hour or two and uh, then i let it cool down it's still hot but it's not hot enough to really cook anything just kind of uh, you know slightly warm so now I'm taking vegetables that right that I kept chilled in the fridge and I'm going to dump them in and I think the pot's too small so <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to do this in stages 
My pot's too small. And you know what? I'm going to have to get a, a bigger pot. Stay tuned. Alright, so I got a bigger pot. So, basically you can put any vegetables you want in it. I just went nuts with what I had. So there's actually red pepper, green pepper, zucchinis, um, celery, I can't remember what else is in there, stir it around, what else did I put in here, oh broccoli, which I cut, I just used the flour part because the other part takes more, would actually take cooking, so just the, the top flour part of the broccoli. And um, red onion. And I think that's it for that. And then what I have here is, if you got any herbs, uh, fresh herbs, all I had was fresh parsley and dill. And I'm gonna throw in some cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna stir that around. I also, uh, about halfway through the simmering process, I put a little bit of bullseye in. I really like that in there because it gives a bit of a smoky flavor. I didn't put a lot, just a little bit, just to get a little bit of smokiness. And I put a little more chili powder. So I'm going to stir this around and we'll lay it a little in the bowl. Alright, so I've ladled it. And uh, here we go. I, lit it, I put a lid on it and just let a little bit of the heat since I, I cut some of the things a little big. A little bit of the heat to get in there, but it's not cooked. So the beans, of course, are cooked. They have to be. And a few of the vegetables were cooked. But as you saw, that, uh, that I put a big, huge bowl of every kind of vegetable and herbs in. Start with the cherry tomatoes and some beans. So much flavor. Let's get a zucchini and a red pepper. Some more beans. Mm. Flavor is unbelievable. So there you go. Half cooked, half raw chili, all vegetables. Again, this is not for uh, people that are totally raw. This is for people that either um, are slowly easing into raw, but not ready to go the whole way, or for people that have no intention of going all the way. They still want to enjoy the benefits and the pleasures of cooking, but they also want to get lots of the nutrients from raw food. And so this is. This is for anybody like that, so it's perfect. So uh, give it a try and uh, enjoy. Chile.